For most people, it only takes like 10 minutes to fuck up your brain for a day. If you look at uh, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts to see that the dating world is fucked, that masculinity, femininity are disappearing, right? That's the that's the general image most people get in their algorithms. So what's going on? What is the current state of femininity? How did we get here? For us men, it's extremely important how we relate to femininity. Masculinity doesn't exist without its relation to femininity. This is an interesting one, and I'm curious about your thoughts. Hey man, good to see you. You make this community a whole lot stronger. Let's get into it. So, little backstory. In the first part of the 20th century, there were objective inequalities between men and women. Women's rights movements were created to remove these inequalities, rightfully so. But up until the 1980s, 1990s, most, if not all, objective equalities were removed. But these women's right movements only had gotten stronger. And so as they kept pushing forward, what happened was they started overextending into equal outcome. Equality is about opportunity, right? To have the same opportunities and rights in life. Equal outcome is about nature. Equal outcome isn't about us. It's about nature. It happens. You put 100 men and 100 women in a certain field. You let them do a task. Men or women will outperform the others. In, in almost every field, there is a clear difference in the competence of men and women. These differences are beautiful. It's what synergizes us. It's what creates the polarity that basically drives the world forward so let's say we have all these different fields right in the one field men are outperforming women and in the other fields women are outperforming men what these women's rights movements started doing now as they overextended past equality they started looking at these fields and say hey we are losing here we are losing here we are losing here that's not fair this is why you start messing with equal outcome right so you start placing quotas in business to have a certain amount of women in companies you start placing women in roles of men in music in movies everywhere in society recently they even came out with a female actor for the advertisement of the u.s army an organization with 80 percent by the way this used to be 98 percent 20 years ago they are advertising with a lesbian woman just to show you how this force has gone against nature and overextending into fields where men are by nature outperforming and taking those fields and equalizing them. And the fields where women are outperforming, we leave unchanged. So the overarching effect of this is that women are promoted to step into their masculine, to step into masculine fields, compete with men, be completely independent, sexually free, um, and so on. And so the current state is fairly simple. Women are sold into a masculine life, which is simply against their nature. On the other side then, of course, men are told to take less space, to be less assertive, to express less masculine traits, because these are toxic, right? And to me personally, I, I, I really wouldn't care about it as I simply connect to my energy and I ex express it in a healthy way. And I, I really never encounter any problems or uh, confrontations uh, because I think people can feel it comes from a good place. But my problem with it is that it sets men and women up for unhappy lives. And I want to draw the distinction here between men and women and say masculine and feminine energy. Around 80% of women have a predominantly feminine essence. And this feminine energy wants and needs different things. It doesn't need and it doesn't want an ambitious career. It doesn't need to be fully independent and it doesn't want to be sexually free and liberated and there's also the 20 percent that is more neutral or even more masculine in energy and there is nothing fucking wrong with it <laughs> right these women should should have had the opportunity to pursue these careers that's exactly why it was so important to equalize opportunity right now we are in a situation where everywhere the outcome is being equalized setting this 80 percent of women up to pursue careers and as they get older potentially 
feeling unfulfilled or unsatisfied in their lives. And to me, simply as a human being, that I find harmful. Currently, femininity isn't being valued or honored by society. While in truth and in nature, femininity is equally as powerful as masculinity, but is different. And so while for some reason it is the masculine traits that are visually apparently more appealing in society it is femininity has always been the prime inspiration and motivation for men to do anything to get out of bed even creators of life is a metaphor and source of basically all the love in the world it is the symbol of caretaking it is the idea of making anything that is built by men more beautiful to make it something right a woman makes a house a home Yet society isn't seeing that immense power of femininity. It isn't valuing, honoring or respecting it. And instead, it's pushing women into developing masculine traits and giving away their soft feminine traits. So what happens? Men either conform, they become weak, passive, idle, or they become hyper-masculine, right? They get upset and frustrated about it, and then they themselves overextend into the other side and become very noisy and rotate. Why is he here at this point? It is no coincidence. The thing that comes closest to my heart is the fact that polarity disappears. The irony of it all is that, that we now create this situation and we got women saying where's the strong man and we got men saying where's the soft women. It is this example that shows so clearly that we all have this natural feeling inside of us right? That we are fooling ourselves. We are making this polarity disappear, but we actually don't want to. So that's the current state of femininity and how that relates to, to us men. And here's my view on it. Basically, we are confused, right? The, the current state is confusion. And for men, this causes a lot of frustration and sadness and unfairness. Cannot find a woman that's soft and caring to come home to. The fact of the matter is this women are becoming more aware again. You can see it in uh, Google Trends in certain topics. You can see it in a simple look on, on the internet as well. We have now for a long time been overextending into the masculine realm, creating a disbalance between men and women, equalizing the polarity. The women are becoming more aware and are becoming interested again in stepping into their feminine energy. And that points simply to one thing, and that is nature always wins. The pendulum swings, but it will always swing back. It's masculine energy, this feminine energy. It's not something we can run away from too long. At the end of the day, it will balance itself out again. So I would say if you are frustrated or sad, or, or you feel kind of hopeless towards the dating scene or towards women, or maybe you even feel a bit angry at women, I would tell you, nature will win women are becoming more aware and interested again in being women another viewpoint is the liberation of women sexually is something that a lot of men feel frustrated about since it is not a standard anymore to have two three or four bad partners in your life like it used to be there's a lot of women left that are very protective and reserved in their sexual energy that you know that these women had the choice but chose not to that is something really profound that we didn't have before and that is a positive side of this liberation of course at the same time promoting that lifestyle you know through music of course that shit is harmful it's like again it's pushing women into a direction that they will most of the time feel regret for later in life and lastly the most important part what is there to do whether you're a man or a woman listening to this video the only answer is to see everything that is happening and to say hmm i don't agree with it i will play into my natural energy regardless of hearing all this noise around you about how things should be for you as a man or a woman simply play into your own energy don't listen to the noise before listening to yourself when you find that you have a more masculine or a more feminine essence, play into it. You simply know that you are living in truth, that you are living aligned to yourself and that you will live a happy life. The people that do value that decision made by you, it's real recognizes real, right? Authentic recognizes authentic. So there's no need for frustration. There's no need for anger, hopelessness. Nature will win eventually and up until that happens, as it is happening right now, choose to play to your own energy. 
and that's it see you in the next one